Stephen Levy, Facebook, The Inside Story. In Facebook, The Inside Story, noted journalist Stephen Levy delves deep into the journey of Facebook, from being a simple website to becoming a tech behemoth that plays a profound role in modern society. With extraordinary access to Facebook's key leaders, including founder Mark Zuckerberg, Levy chronicles the intricate dynamics of power and ambition that shaped the platform. Readers can expect a captivating overview of the critical moments and choices within the company's history, Zuckerberg's mindset, and the cultural shifts taking place within Facebook. The book also provides an insightful exploration of how Facebook has deeply influenced privacy, data sharing, advertising, and political landscapes. Facebook's Evolution Under Mark Zuckerberg's Rule Wired editor Steve Levy's Facebook, The Inside Story, presents an objective and in-depth view of the tech giant's evolution, from a friendly website to a titan bulldozing anything in its way, including democracy. Levy's extensive research and unprecedented access to Facebook's leaders reveal how Mark Zuckerberg's idealism became intertwined with his desire for domination. This book distinguishes itself from other books about Facebook by presenting a comprehensive and unbiased account of the firm's history, providing readers with a rich overview of the Internet's influence and Facebook's various manifestations. The Accidental Billionaire Levy recounts how Mark Zuckerberg turned a love of computer projects into a $98 million dollar company with the creation of Facebook. At just 12 years old, Zuckerberg transformed the board game, Risk, into a computer game. As a Harvard student, he launched the website Thiefisbook and sought out to conquer other schools amidst online competitors. Despite leaving school to work with Napster and Plaxo founder Sean Parker, Zuckerberg's company continued to thrive with 80% of users logging on daily, making him a billionaire almost overnight. Facebook's Journey Levy's book reveals how Facebook's evolution unfolded with Zuckerberg's commitment to connect the world. The platform's users protested against sharing their data on the site, but it never decreased Facebook's site traffic. Zuckerberg's refusal to sell to Yahoo demonstrates his dedication to keeping the platform independent. The Rise and Fall of Facebook Platform In 2007, Facebook launched its platform, allowing developers access to user data. The move was controversial, and though Zynga's Farmville drew 80 million players and accounted for 20% of Facebook's income, the notification spam overwhelmed users. Additionally, Zuckerberg went back on his promises about user data, sharing it with companies for ad revenues and useful data. This move proved to be the most damaging episode for Facebook, violating user trust and causing long-term consequences. Facebook's Rise to Dominance this book's summary charts Facebook's trajectory from its early days to its acquisition of Instagram and WhatsApp. The author highlights the platform's key strategies, including the introduction of the like button as a means of gathering user data. The default privacy settings, which disclosed personal information to everyone and required users to opt out instead of opt in, are also discussed. The book explores Facebook's internal conflicts and quotes an attorney's concerns over the site's legality. As Facebook's profit soared, it acquired Instagram and WhatsApp, cementing its place as the dominant player in the social media market. The Cambridge Analytica Scandal Levy's book examines the Cambridge Analytica scandal and Facebook's lack of accountability. Cambridge Analytica, which was underwritten by Robert Mercer and created by Steve Bannon to support Donald Trump's presidential campaign, drew on data from over 50 million people's Facebook accounts to target political ads. Facebook asked Cambridge Analytica to delete the data, but it never verified whether the company did so. Worse yet, Facebook failed to notify its users that their data had been co-opted. Levy finds Facebook's lack of responsibility both hypocritical and concerning for the U.S. electoral process. Levy also reveals that Russian intelligence used Facebook to influence the 2016 U.S. presidential election, as the Russian Internet Research Agency posted around 80,000 pieces of content that reached approximately 129 million Facebook users. Despite the FTC fining Facebook $5 billion in 2019 for its role in the scandal, 
the company continues to reap billions of dollars in revenue. This further highlights Facebook's invulnerability. Levy's Definitive History of Facebook Levy's book on Facebook is regarded by critics and journalists as definitive for its balanced approach to revealing both the good and bad of the company without taking sides. Levy's sly wit and sense of irony add an entertaining twist to this fascinating history, illuminating the larger dynamic through the small and telling facts he uncovers. His skill in explaining and exploiting in-company jargon provides a deeper insight into confidential processes. This book is easily the best of all recent books about Facebook. At the end of this revelatory account of Facebook's evolution, we are left with a vivid understanding of the complex relationship between Zuckerberg's idealism and his quest for dominance. Levy unveils the numerous clashes and missteps that have marked the company's journey, ultimately questioning its responsibility and accountability. Touching on crucial events such as the Cambridge Analytica scandal and Facebook's impact. On the 2016 U.S. presidential election, the book serves as a comprehensive and balanced portrayal of the social media giant. Levy's keen insights, drawn from an array of insider interviews and shrewd observations, provide the reader with a well-rounded understanding of Facebook's ongoing influence on society, technology, and human communication.